Alright, I have a student. I have a student that wants to tell me the answer. The student says the answer is x equals 24. Or v equals 24, correct? No. Yes. So let's go and take a look. Let's see if it works or not. Alright, hold on. What? Yes, we're we'll gonna go and work on it. However, the main important thing you want to know is when you're gonna add when you find your v equals 24, that's perfectly fine. She might have done her head, she might have solved for it. But our final answer is we have v equals 24. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to solve it though using algebra to get to our answer. Because once we start getting into multi-step problems and look more difficult, it becomes harder and harder to do these types of problems in your head. So what this says is v plus nine divided by three. Now usually I've always told you guys to undo addition and subtraction first, right? Well, there's a problem. You cannot undo adding nine because our nine is already being divided by three. So the first step that we always want to look to is see if you can simplify your uh, equation. And I can simplify this by getting rid of my fractions. And we get rid of our fractions by multiplying by what's on the denominator. So if I multiply by uh, what's on the denominator as a numerator, what's going to happen is 3 over 3 is going to cancel out to become 1. So I'm just left with v plus 9 equals 8 times 3, which is going to be 24. Then, the last thing I need to do is uh, now, I need to, now I can undo what's happening to my variable, which would be to subtract 9. So therefore I have v equals, and it's not going to be 24 minus 9, which would be 15. So my final answer actually is 15. Did you see where you messed up? I didn't do the whole thing. I didn't really fine, but now you see it, right? Mm -hmm. So that's good. And the way you can always check your answer is, remember, just plug in 15. 15 plus 9 is 24. 24 divided by 3 leaves you 8, right? So she could have checked her answer and said 24 plus 9, that's 33. 33 divided by 3, that's actually 11. And 11 doesn't equal 8. So then, you know, she could have next. But that's a good way for you guys to see how the process works. <laughs>